Hello and welcome to this weekly look at the night sky where I go through what you can see and how you can see it. Each week I cover another constellation and tonight we'll have a look at Leo, the lion. So, at the time of recording this video we've passed the spring equinox, meaning it is time to take a look at the spring night sky. To me, the most important constellation in the spring night sky is Leo, the lion. It is big, easy to find, and thus a helpful guide to find the surrounding constellations, much how we used Orion in the winter night sky. Leo is most easily found by trying to find a mirrored question mark. Do you see it? Right here. Going closer, the mirrored question mark is the head and chest of the lion. Now think of a lion that's lying down, like this one on the left. We have the back here, the belly here, and the front legs here. The bright star that is the dot in the question mark is called Regulus, meaning little king. It's also called the heart of the lion. Leo has multiple galaxies, some of which you'll be just able to see with a good pair of binoculars. For instance, there's a trio of galaxies beneath the lion's hind legs, around here. Let's have a closer look. This is called the Leo triplet, and it is just one of many groups of galaxies found in Leo. Mind you, galaxies are not quite as pretty to the unaided eye as they are on pictures. They mostly look like small misty blobs to our poor eyes. However, with a larger telescope and a decent camera for astrophotography, Leo is a magnificent place for galaxy hunting. For good measure, galaxies are where most stars are found. They are islands in the great sea of nothing. The Sun is one of about 100 billion stars found in the Milky Way, a fairly typical galaxy. Now just look at all those galaxies and imagine just how many stars that is, how many planets. And if the thought makes you a bit dizzy, don't worry. That's perfectly normal. That's it for tonight. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you want to see more, click subscribe. I hope to see you next week. And until then, clear skies.